For those of you who saw my Sony 12-24 f2.8 G Master lens review, you saw that lens was amazing. Now before I sent that lens back to Sony, I did take a couple of side-by-side -side snapshots with my Laowa 9mm. Now this is probably not a lens that anyone is ever going to cross shop that is G Master versus this little Laowa 9mm, but I was curious myself as to how these two lenses compare to one another because the focal length is pretty similar. I took my trusty Sony a6100, mounted the Laowa 9mm on it, and then all of the shots on the G Master were taken on my Sony a9 full frame censored camera. So let's jump into the comparison and see how these two lenses do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna keep all of the G Master lens images on the left and all of the Laowa images on the right. First shot here is kind of a wide landscape. We've got some old style buildings. I'm gonna punch into the middle where I focused both lenses. Uh, these are done at f 2.8 on both cameras and Looking at these side by side, the Laowa is a little bit brighter, but uh, both are equally sharp. I'd say from a distortion standpoint, the G Master looks like the lines are a little bit more straight. As we move along, uh, looks like the G Master retains much of its sharpness. This is f2.8, so I don't expect it to be tack sharp at the edge of the building, but both lenses are performing quite well here. Uh, not a huge difference. You can see just how much wider the 12 millimeter is on a full frame camera body. Here it is, 12 millimeters versus the nine millimeter. So there is a difference. It's not humongous, but you can see on this right side, you do get quite a bit more room at 12 millimeters versus the nine millimeter on an APS-C camera body. This next shot is at F4. I focused on the very top of this building and look at that tack sharp, tack sharp. So no real difference here. Maybe a little bit more chromatic aberration here with the tree limbs on the Laowa. And you can see just how well that G Master does with controlling that. But from a straight sharpness standpoint, I'd say this is a tie between two lenses. Here's another shot at f2.8 again. I focused at the very top. Again, nice and sharp on the G Master. Pretty sharp on the Laowa as well. It's a little bit uh, washed out here. It's one of the things that you'll have to watch for with the Laowa is, uh, especially if you are using the zoom to focus feature, the first shot usually is either under or overexposed. The second shot is pretty spot on. You don't have to worry about that with the G Master, but with the Laowa, sometimes it does take two shots to get the correct exposure. Here's an object up close at f2.8 just to show the difference in background bokeh. And let's see, I focused on this part right here on both and you can see it's nice and sharp on both lenses. As we move out to the bokeh, the G Master does have a creamier render to the bokeh. You get that with shallower depth of field. Even though both lenses are being shot at f2.8, uh, the full frame advantage is definitely visible. That's not to say that the bokeh on the Laowa is bad, but it is just not quite as creamy if that's the look that you're going for. Here's another shot at f2.8. Now the biggest difference between these two, I think, is colors. Here is the G Master and here is the Laowa. So again, G Master, Laowa, G Master, Laowa. I personally do like the look of the G Master. I think it's a little bit more realistic. The paint on this car is actually a pearlescent white. Um, whereas it just looks kind of straight white on the Laowa. And you see there is quite a difference in how much of the background is included. Again, because the G Master is wider than the Laowa at nine millimeters. Where I focused on the headlight here, I'd say both lenses are pretty close in sharpness. I'd give the advantage to the G Master. Um, so this one is definitely a win for the G Master in my opinion. Here's a landscape shot done at f8 on both camera bodies. A lot of detail here, so everything should be nice and in focus, we'll see. So from the center of the image, you'll see a ton of detail, ton of resolution here with the 12-24 f2.8G. Same thing with the Laowa 9mm. It's not giving up any sort of sharpness here at all. There's a bit more of chromatic aberration, a little bit of purple color that you can see in the center here, 
but it's very, very close. Let's take a look at the corners. So same story here, nice and sharp on both. The Lao is a little bit darker, so you get um, a little bit more of that vignetting effect in the corners, chromatic aberration here, but it's very close. And you actually see some chromatic aberration with the G Master here, although I will admit, again, it's very well controlled. Same story here, a little bit more chromatic aberration, but from a sharpness standpoint, stop down to f8, both lenses are performing remarkably well. Here's a shot of a building at f5.6. I focused on the very tip of this building and look at that. Wow, I would almost have to say the Laowa 9mm looks sharper to me, but very close, very good performance from both of these lenses, uh, nice and sharp. Good colors from both as well. Even in the corners, both lenses are performing quite well. So I would say that this shot is a tie with a slight advantage to the Laowa 9mm. Here is a picture of a flower and the difference I wanted to demonstrate is the difference in minimum focusing distance. So you can get a little bit closer with the Laowa 9mm versus the 12-24G Master, which I found was interesting. As you zoom in, you can see both images are nice and sharp. In fact, I'd say the Laowa is a little bit sharper, but it is interesting to me that you can get closer to your subject with that prime. The next shot here is of a sunset, kind of low light here, F8. So I stopped this down even though I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for this type of shot. But uh, look at the sun stars, sun rays here, looking good on both. I tried to focus on kind of these tree branches out here and you can see that both of them look pretty even when it comes to sharpness. Moving over to the side, again, same performance. Here is a shot at F4, so I focused on this street sign. You can see just how wide you get. The 12 to 24 is smearing the rock that you see very close to the lens. You can see the minimum focusing distance helping the Laowa out in that regard. But let's zoom in and see. It looks like the Laowa is a little bit sharper in my opinion, but still tons of detail with both lenses. And you can see the other sign isn't even here on the Laowa. So the last shot here is just of the inside of our house. Uh, it's probably what you're gonna be using the G Master uh, most frequently for, even the Laowa, I'd say is for real estate photography. It is noticeably wider um, when you are photographing the inside of a home. So it does make a room look bigger, which is a selling point. Let's take a look at what you get as far as sharpness between both lenses. At f4, I would have to say the Laowa 9mm is a little bit sharper here. Uh, the 12-24 to is still an excellent performer, still nice and sharp, but as far as where I focused, uh, the Laowa looks a little bit better in my opinion. So that is it for the side-by-side -side comparison. And I have to say that ultimately the G Master is a better lens. Obviously you don't have to deal with manual focus. You don't have to deal with uh, taking a couple of shots to get your exposure done. So it is a more convenient lens by far. However, I will not deny the fact that this little Laowa lens at $500 is performing at the same level, in my opinion, in many of the side-by-side -side images as a G Master lens. The fact that this lens is one-sixth of the price of the G Master is pretty amazing. Now, you have to do manual focus, it's not as wide, but given those shortcomings, I still think that the value is quite amazing with the Laowa 9mm. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these side-by-side -side images. Which one of these two lenses do you think is the better value? It's always fun to read all of your guys' comments. Thank you so much for all of your likes and support. Stay tuned for more and have a nice day. Bye-bye.